Hey guys, lovely day out in Wiltshire today, really sunny, so uh, it's got a bit of fun with the Freelanders today, it's just a bit of a fun job. Uh, we're going to be putting washer jets on the wiper arms, so it's a bit different, it's just one of those random things I felt like doing, and might as well do it when it's sunny, so let's crack on and do it. Okay, so we're here with the Freelander, bonnets up. Uh, we're just having a quick look around, sort of seeing how we're going to do it. So, these are the little uh, washer jets. So, there's sort of three jets on it. That's the sort of front, and then this is the uh, bit where the, uh, your pipe's going to go on. Uh, effectively, I don't know if I'll be able to see this. They're just going to sit here, like that, with the uh, nozzle. So, with the nozzle kind of underneath it, like this. So they're just going to sit like that. So it was just sort of planning out how we're going to get them onto the uh, onto the wiper arms. You know, moving them away from here and down onto here without having to cut away too much. I think the best plan we've got so far for what we're actually going to do is where this pipe's come up here. I'm going to keep that, you know, coming up here, and I'm going to do a small uh, cutaway into the sort of bit where the foam would normally attach. Uh, only going to do a small bit, just enough to get the pipe through. I don't want to be cutting away too much from this. Uh, so I'm going to cut away just enough to get that through and then up and then we're going to route it up to here. I'm going to put a, a, a sort of TP section in here. I'm going to run it along underneath and I'm going to do another small little incision here coming up to this one. So I've made sure there's no wiring in behind so I've taken all the uh, sort of plugs off of here. And I've checked in behind, there's no wiring in behind any of this or attached underneath. So make sure I'm not cutting into anything there. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the first job. It's just tiny little nicks up into here and up into here. Uh, and then we're going to run the, the pipe up through directly to each of them individually as opposed to running it up and then along the bodywork because it, it, it would just be a bit messier that way. So this way we're just going to have two nice little neat lines up to the washer jets and then we're going to have wiper arm mounted uh, washers. Uh, I guess I should say the reason I'm doing this is because I broke the previous one. So when I did the spray job before, uh, I was a bit ham-fisted and taking it off the little clips that come up onto the bottom of the pipe that come up into the bottom of the, house, the, the washer jet I end up breaking both of them so they've been kind of useless anything over sort of 30 they were just flapping around on top of the bonnet so kind of useless um, and I just thought well rather than a place I want to do something a bit of fun so let's go on and get these fitted okay so for doing the uh, little incisions I am going to be using the angle grinder it's just going to be the easiest and quickest way to do it so when you're doing that make sure you are in eye protection I've obviously got bigger over goggles because I wear glasses um, but at least make sure you've got something on your eyes, there's going to be a lot of stuff splintering away from that. So yeah, just make sure you've got some kind of eye protection on for this one as well, alright? Okay, so that's the angle grinder bit done. It's really quick and simple with that angle grinder. <laughs> As you can see, we've got two little notches now, so if I bring this in, got a little notch here and a little notch there. Uh, I'm going to file them down a little bit to make them a little bit neater. Uh, the pipe does fit in there that I need to fit in there, so that's all done. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go on the next stage. I'm just going to file those down, get them neatened up so they're not too sharp on the pipe. And then we're going to get on them out with the new wiper, wiper uh, jets. Okay, so with the fitting, we're just going to take this bit, so this little uh, sort of T-piece. This was the one that was installed here for that first washer jet. Uh, you then had the sort of 90 degree that went up in here and then that ran it along so this is all going to come out so we're going to snip this pipe sort of down here tucked away we're going to snip it down T piece is going to go into the original black pipe my new pipe is going to come off the top of it and out of the right side of it one bit's going to come out straight to this wiper the, the T piece then will allow one more bit to run along the bulkhead and then it's going to go straight up along here so we should only need one joiner for all of this so it's a bit more well it's quite a bit more simple than what runs along there we should just need this one little uh, t-piece and that's going to allow us to go all the way around to all the other bits so i'll obviously go through and show you as i'm doing it but uh yeah let's crack on and fit the little t-piece okay so my washer uh pipe came up in behind the uh, coolant tank here um there was actually a split here, which will never be helping, so I'm going to cut below that, or quite a bit below that. I'm going to restart my join there. So we're going to probably lift this up a little bit. There's pink scissors, there's the split. Just snip it like that. There might be a little bit of residue coming out of the leftover fluid, but that's that bit out. So we can get rid of that. And then 
This reminds me about my little tea piece. So this is the one that was originally up on the bonnet. Should hopefully fit down into here. Because they're the same size. There we go. So that's the first join in. So just 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 now just attach the rest of the pipe. Okay, so now to attach the new pipe. So I actually bought some of this uh, four mil. So all this pipe should be four mil. Uh, this is Samco sort of vacuum hose four mil. This is just going to go onto here. So it depends how stiff it is. There we go. There we go. So there's our nice fancy blue hose, and this is the one that's just going to come straight up through here, straight up onto the wiper arm up here. Um, I did actually buy quite a bit because it's, it's quite cheap, but you know, for what it is, it's really good value stuff. So I've bought quite a bit. So if I am a little bit short, I can cut more, but that's the one that's going to come up through here. So the next one is this one that's going to run, run along the front of the bulkhead. Okay, so the next one, again, blue pipe. So it's going to come into this one here. Get that on there nice and tight. And I'm just going to run it along. Obviously when this is back up it will hide it a bit better. And then up into here. And then that is also going to run along to there. I say, I think I've probably cut them ever so slightly too long. So I'd rather just trim them down a little bit. Than uh, have to go through the hassle of cutting off new lengths again. So they're both in there. So you can see the blue pipe's going to run along there. Up into there. We only needed the one T-piece. Uh, so let's go on and fit the, uh, the washer jets. Okay, so I've just had the clips on the wiper arms and I'm gonna show you why now it's very important to always buy more, buy more length than what you think you need with the piping. Uh, so yeah, quickly show you why you think why it's always been really important. So yeah, that is why you always double check these things before going ahead and installing everything and putting it all together again properly. So Luckily I've got a bit of extra length, so this is why it's always important to check these things. Um, I've done the other side already. Um, I'm just going to do this length now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of tape around the wiper arm just to take up a bit of space. So as the wipe, as the washer goes on, it just grips a bit tighter. Um, it's just not 100% tight. Do a bit of tighter, then I'll put the screws in them, and it should be done. So uh, yeah, let's go and fit those. Okay, so got the uh, pipe on there, and I measured it all up. So what I've done... Uh, and I put, I don't know if I can pick up on it, two little scratches either side of where that would fit. And I'm going to put the tape on there to thicken it out a little bit. Uh, and then to install these, I'll show you in a moment, it is literally separate that bit out there and just push it up onto the, the wiper arm. I'm going to put it up and then put it down over the tape just to give it a bit more sort of secure fitting on there. So let's go do that part. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got one bit of uh, strong tape just wrapped around there, just one layer, it's not too much. Uh, and then these. The jaws, like I say, just pry apart. The first time I did it, I just got a screwdriver and just popped them apart a little bit. They were just a bit stuck together. And now it's just a case of one under, one over. Okay, so yeah, now that the clip's on, that's pretty much the, the job done. I'm going to tidy up in a moment, but as you can see, they're both mounted on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy this up in a moment and just make sure that's nice and tight to there, nice and taut. Same on the other side, but leave the slack here, as, and that will stop what happened before when it was pulling the cable off. So as long as it's got that slack in that bottom bit, you should be fine. But I'm actually going to test and see if they work now. I, I did test the jets earlier on to see if they sprayed. I just kept on a separate hose up to them and sprayed through it, and they did. Haven't tried them on the vehicle yet, haven't tried them with washer fluid yet, so let's go ahead and see if they work. Okay, so yeah, they all work, which is great. Uh, one of the jets was slightly off on the driver's side, that's going to be easy to create, you just put a pin in the thing. Rotate it around to the angle that you want, and hey presto, there you go. So yeah, they all work, fantastic. So that's pretty much the job done, so let's just tidy up a little bit and uh, get it looking really neat on there, and then we're done.
Okay, so that's it all in, all done, and all fixed up and tidied up. So I've just put these two uh, back in here. Uh, so the pipe is running in behind, comes up through here. You see it kind of shows a little bit there. Uh, there's the, the split there and the split there comes up. And what I've done is I've just put a bit of that black tape on here uh, and then a cable tie around it for now just to hold it in place. So I've got a nice straight edge here and then the slack comes in here and gets hidden away. Same as on the other side, nice, uh, well it's relatively taut on there, I'll tighten up in a bit in the moment. And then the slack comes in underneath. So uh, if I just quickly put the bonnet down, give me two moments. Okay, so that's what you're left with when the, uh, the bonnet is down. So you can say, I've, uh, like I said, I've left a bit of the slack in here and in here, mostly tucked away. You know, this will sort of sit down in here. Uh, and then I've made it nice and taut on there to make it nice and smart, just using those cable ties. Uh, and then in here, these had little screws that went into the back of them. So I lift that up. Uh, where are we looking? There we go, got a little screw in there. And then we've got three jets. I've got those all lined up. It's all working. So uh, I guess one more demo and then the uh, job's done. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, actually went much better than I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> Looks a lot neater than I thought I was gonna do actually. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take, well, I will take out the, uh, the lugs from the bonnet now. There's no point having them in there. I know I'll have some small holes for a little bit. Um, but I'm probably gonna mount something up across there at some point. So yeah, all done. Hope you like that one. It's a nice, sort of, nice easy video. I'll leave some links to the washer jets and the piping below. That's pretty much all you, well, that is all you needed. Um, I yeah, repurposed the T piece from under the bonnet to make the bit to make the join. Uh, the other bits you didn't need, so it's literally just that one little plastic T piece that I needed. Um, it's a really nice, simple, easy install. So, yeah, great fun. Really like the effect. It's very sort of you know, rally, like I suppose, in fitting with the Camel Trophy. Um, yeah, I hope, uh, see you guys next time.